Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am gonna be going to my best friend's birthday, which actually was two days ago, but she was away, so we are celebrating today. And I had a thought, why not make a get ready with me makeup tutorial? So hang in there with me if you're interested to see. So let's jump right into the video. See ya! So I'm gonna be starting with my eyes and I'm gonna apply eyeshadow base by NYX. It has little sparkles. I don't know if you can just see. But it not just brighten your eyelids, it gives it's almost like you don't need any more glitter on your eyes. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Mother Vincent Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. So let's start with some transition shades and I'm going to dig into, so I'm not going to say the actual names of my palette, so I'm really scared to pronounce them completely wrong, so I'm just going to show you and put the name, if, just in case, put the name somewhere here. So I'm going to start with the transition over here, this one. So now I'm gonna dig into this color here. gonna try to stay in the outside of the corner of my eye and just build that color all the I don't really know for what kind of look I'm going today I just want it to be simple I'm gonna dig into a bit darker color over here. Cypress Umber, is that how you say it? I don't want to offend anybody by saying something wrong. Okay, I'll dig into the antique bronze over here. I'll just try to apply it middle. It's actually really, really pretty color. I want a little, little light in my inner eye, so I'm gonna be using this one for my inner eye. So let's take it a bit out as well. And just on the bottom of my eyebrows. Well, let's apply some eyeliner. So I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Paris eyeliner. This is a moment where you really need to concentrate and not ruin everything. I'm 
properly. And at the moment I'm using my Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I don't know why I need to think that. So now when my eyes is finished, I'm gonna be going further to my face and I'm gonna be using the Photo Finish Foundation Primer by Smashbox. <laughs> So, and the primer is done, all oh, nice. So, I am loving my number seven beautiful matte foundation. So, it's matte perfection, and I'm using the shade Cool Vanilla. I like to put my foundation straight away on my brush and then just make a little dot and then just blend them out. Really, don't you guys just love how your face? is changing after putting the foundation on. All the imperfections are gone. So now when my foundation is on, I am where are you wearing? I'm gonna apply the concealer under my eye to make it a bit brighter. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Primer in the shade Fair Warm. And I'm going to use the same brush to top it in. At the moment, loving the Rimmel London Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder, which is really cheap and really affordable, and it's so amazing. Literally keeps all that makeup on your face for a long time. I have these marble brushes; they're so pretty, and I think I got them in Groupon, really, really cheap. So if I'll be able to find it, I'll put the link down below. So I'm just going to apply my translucent powder. I don't know why I need a thing there, but I did. But it smells really nice as well. Like, I don't know, like clean smell. I need to do those eyebrows. So I like to brush them up at the start before I use anything on it. And I don't like to contour my eyebrows, I just like to get them as natural as possible, so that's what I'm trying to do now. Because I don't use much of the product. So all that I have left to do is just to give a little contour. So I'm going to be using the bronzer by Smashbox in warm matte colour. And it looks just like this. Oh. Really, really pretty one. And for a little highlight, I'm going to be using the Afterglow Highlighter by Urban Decay in the shade Sin. I can give you a little smudge, that's how it looks. And I'm making like a little bee. It's so pretty. Let's put a little bit on the nose. And on the tip of the nose. And to set my makeup off, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go. 
which I am also gonna be using for the first time. So I will see how that one goes. Oh, it smells really nice. And I like to tap my setting spray on my skin so it would dry evenly. Let's have some red lips, shall we? So I think I'm ready to go for dinners. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, please press the thumbs up button down below and if you want to see more videos of me, please subscribe to this channel. I will really appreciate that. Thank you guys and have an amazing evening, day, wherever you are. Bye!